What's going on, everybody? Uh, just a quick, uh, quick overview here of the Mount Laurel Design uh, Core 28 liter backpack. Uh, I'm going to try and make this quick, simple, and painless for you guys. Uh, so this is a frameless 28 liter backpack uh, uh, from Mount Laurel Design, uh, Dyneema X fabric. Uh, this pack retails without any of the extra stuff on it for, so I'm going to fix my camera angle, I'm not very good at these types of things. So this pack retails for $85 I think uh, without any of the extras on it. Um, still fleecy looks. Lantern here. So, 85 bucks. Uh, this is the large size. I think the pack weighs, I believe it's like 8.6 ounces, something of that nature. So, it's a very light pack. Uh, it is frameless, uh, nothing in it there. Uh, usually, I'll keep a Thermo Rest uh, Z seat in the back here, and that does perfect for me. Um, comes with a sternum strap and a 10 millimeter uh, waist belt. Not really meant for any weight bearing, obviously, because it's so thin, but more uh, just to kind of keep the pack from flopping around while you're doing your hiking or whatever it is that you're going with it. Um, <clears throat> standard, this pack does come with uh, eighth inch shot cord. I think, I believe they give you seven feet with it, uh, as well as uh, cord locks and some of these, I don't know if you can see them, these little plastic hook things so you can hook your, uh, your uh, compression strap stuff there, I don't know. but it's there, they give it to you. Uh, I opted for $10 extra, I opted for the uh, additional compression straps. And it runs on these nylon loops, you have three of them, one, two, and the third is for the hip belt, but if you're not using the hip belt, you can use this as a third uh, compression uh, strap for the backpack. <clears throat> it's 10 bucks extra, they give you two of them. Uh, some of the other additions that you can uh, get with this pack for the shoulder straps, you can either get uh, these gear gear bags. Basically, it's just a small bag, a zipper bag that you can put on the, the shoulder strap, and you can also get water bottle pockets, as this does not come with any side water bottle pockets. Not a problem for me. Um, I kind of think that that sort of takes away from the simplicity of the pack. Uh, but you can get those. Of course, they're additional. You can also get a wider waist belt, I believe it's three quarter inch, and they will give you two uh, waist belt pockets that will go with it. Uh, again, I did not for those, uh, I just didn't think I was gonna need it. Uh, after the fact though, <clears throat> hiking with this bag, I did want a way, I found myself wanting some sort of way to uh, carry water externally. So I did order two of the water bottle pockets. I plan on using one for uh, just kind of gear storage, sunglasses, uh, you know, maybe cell phone, I don't know, whatever. And the other one for a water bottle, you know, 500 ml water bottle, no big deal. Just something just to kind of keep a little bit of water handy. Uh, and they're so light, uh, you know, uh, I'm not going to notice them if I didn't use them. I can just throw them in the pack and forget about them and pull them out if I find myself in a position to need them. Um, so this is a roll top backpack. <clears throat> This thing carries really, really well. Uh, the day I got it, I ordered it on the 9th, and I received it on the 12th, which is crazy. They never sent me any shipping notification, nothing. I just came home, and this thing was in an envelope, in an envelope, uh, sitting on my front porch, and it totally caught me off guard. You know, my girlfriend and I were actually stopping at home to let the dog out prior to going hiking, so it was like divine intervention. Uh, came, uh, came home, and this thing was there. I completely forgot about it. I was waiting for shipping notification. I thought it was going to take him a week or two to make it. It was there. Uh, so I immediately got to take this bag out, run it through its paces, at least a little bit. We did about a four-mile walk. Um, not too hard of a hike, but just, uh, you know, I kind of just threw a bunch of stuff in there just to see how it felt. This thing carried very, very well. Uh, it comes in two colors. It comes in this. Uh, this is the Stealth Gray, and it also comes in Wasabi Green. Um both colors look very nice, but the green, it's just a little too loud for me. I kind of like my, uh, my backpacking gear to be a little bit more subtle. Uh, one of the things that I think kind of annoys me with a lot of backpacking companies is, is the gear that they make is it's too loud. You know, the colors are just way over the top. Um, I don't know why more companies, I see a lot of UK companies make their, their gear kind of um, uh, 
or you know that blend into the natural colors and things like that. Um, so if any of you guys are listening, try to make some gear that blends in. You know, some more earthy colors would be nice. Some browns, some greens, some tans, whatever. Uh, but this gray is awesome. It's good enough for me. I do like it. Uh, it's it's cool. So going into the pack a little bit, uh, I just kind of stuffed it with a few things. I really had it stuffed last night with my typical gear. You can see this is a roll top collar. It has these two buttons that snap to kind of hold the bag, uh, the, the lid, lid of the bag in the right place. There's one thing about these roll top bags is if you don't have it centered correctly, you try and roll it down, you're not gonna be able to close it uh, correctly. But they solve that with these snaps, which I think are really, really awesome. Uh, but you can see this bag really, really opens up pretty large. I'm six foot one, I wear a size large shirt. Uh, I'm not, uh, not a huge guy, I'm, not, I'm, I'm kind of fairly thin. Um, but I am tall, my, my torso length is like 21 inches uh, for backpacks, 22 inches, something like that. This thing holds a lot, it, it holds a lot. And at the same time, rolls down, you know, to, to a standard day pack size. You know, this is not bulky or cumbersome in any way, shape or form. Uh, my family and I, we do travel a lot. Uh, we, my girlfriend and I will travel overseas uh, fairly often. I will bring our daughter with us, uh, you know, across the country, things like that. And, uh, you know, this is going to be my new go-to flight bag. Uh, it's perfect. This doesn't have any, a lot of stuff to get uh, hung up on anything. Um, it's strong, very, very abrasion resistant, and I can really compact, you know, really kind of roll this thing down small enough that this is not an issue for any kind of carry on travel at all. Especially if I throw that Z seat in the back to give it a little bit of support. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. So just some of the, just to give you an idea, of some of the stuff I have in here. It's my Snow Peak. I think it's a 650, 650 something, 600 ml mug. Uh, it's my water filtration kit, bandana, uh, boot pack, coffee, tea bag, uh, my headlamp, my batteries, uh, my fire making stuff. My, just so happens to be in a very similar pattern though. This is the uh, Emberlit Ultralight Titanium uh, wood stove with the uh, uh, case made from a similar fabric. I think this is Rorvik uh, fabric from 2QZQ. Um, you can check them out at Havoc Forms. Uh, this is my Dutchware 11 foot netless hammock uh, with the Ridgeline, Ridgeline organizer and a small lantern or pre-attached to it, battery powered. Uh, plus bottle, uh, half bug net from uh, Paul of Arrowhead Equipment, my uh, uh, OES Mac Cat Deluxe, and snakeskins from Titanium Goat, I believe. And uh, I just added to it, already has the cord in it and some titanium stays all the time. And for just a little bit of bulk, I throw in this. Uh, this wool blanket. Um, and you can see before how much I was able to open that thing up. Last night I packed this with my Hammock Gear 20 degree Phoenix underquilt and a uh, summer top quilt and had plenty of room to add, you know, three or four days worth of food on top of it. No problem, no problems at all. The weight was even fine. Didn't need the waist belt to take the weight. The shoulders felt perfectly comfortable. It was good. Um, and I've also, the day that I, Got this pack like that night. I um, was just kind of playing with it to see what it was able to take, what it wasn't able to take. I even stuffed my uh, hammock gear 20 degree top quilt in here, and very basic, minimal like winter setup or you know late fall, early spring, kind of more winter though. It's it's kind of my winter gear set up in here and still had room to add food uh, and enough space to be able to take this thing out on a weekend. You know, and this is a this is a small pack, you know. Um, you know, it's big enough, but it rolls down, again, you know, to the size that you need it. It's just a very, very versatile pack. Um, I can use this as a day pack. I can use it for overnights, weekends, uh, so on and so forth. Um, 
So it's very cool with that stuff. Very well made. Uh, some of the stitching is fantastic. Well, all the stitching is fantastic. This company's been around for a long time. Uh, you can see that uh, the stitching is very reinforced in here on the shoulder straps. Uh, the seams are very well stitched. I don't see any fraying, anything of the sort. Uh, a lot of the stuff is double stitched. Uh, this fabric is supposed to be nice and strong. And the buckles, I believe the website says, are able to handle 75 pounds of weight uh, before they'll start to fail, which I don't plan on putting that much weight uh, in this bag at all. Um, comfortably, this thing will carry, you know, 18, 18 pounds or so. Uh, if you can get it down less, it's probably better, but um, I don't have an exact weight for my gear, but it's definitely light enough for this bag. It's, it's not an issue. Added a few things, just a few little carabiners and whatever else on there. Um, and, you know, it's just, a, it's just an awesome pack. Um, again, I'm 6'1", uh, 185 pounds. I'm just going to throw a bunch of this stuff in here to give you an idea of how this pack looks. All right, we're just going to toss everything in here. And this is enough gear. You know, that, that wool blanket weighs more than my top quilt does. Um, if you sleep on the ground, which sometimes I do, you know, you can get this bag even smaller. Um, I tend to find that my hammock stuff is a little bit bulkier than my ground sleeping equipment. Because all I have to do is throw the, uh, you know, the, the perlite short in there, a tarp, and, you know, my baby bag and a top quilt, and I'm good. Um, so even throwing my hammock stuff in here, which I tend to find to be a little bit bulkier, even though the weight is not much different, uh, you know, plenty of room in this bag for multiple days. So here it is there. Oops, sorry, my daughter put the sternum strap on. I didn't add the, uh, the Z rest, uh, Z seat back panel on there this time like I typically do. Is. This is just a little waist belt. Again, this is not to carry weight. I mean, it's 10 millimeters. This is just for uh, stabilization in the pack, but I do like to have it on there. Keep it where it is. So again, I'm 6'1", 185 pounds. And this is the way it looks with enough gear easily for, for an overnight, you know, probably a little bit bulkier since I didn't actually have my top quilt and under quilt in there. This thing's comfortable. It's really, really, really comfortable. Um, I may have said, I, I can't remember, but after the fact, I ordered two of the water bottle pockets. So we'll see how that goes. Um, they're relatively inexpensive, so we'll uh, wait for those to get here. So I'll have those, have some access to some water while, while I'm out on the trail. And it's a great pack. It's really awesome. So I suggest you check it out. Mountain Laurel Design Core 28 liter. It comes in a couple different sizes, a couple different colors. Uh, this is the Stealth Gray. It comes in Wasabi Green, like I said. It comes in a 22 liter and a 28 liter. So reasonably priced pack. Very, very versatile. Um, check it out. Thanks.